A large encampment in downtown D.C. set to be cleared tomorrow. Health and safety officials say the tent village has become too dangerous. Melanie Alwick this morning live near McPherson Square where it is with more for us this morning. Morning, Mel. Hey, good morning, Steve and Jeanette. You know, there's been a lot of stops and starts here. Initially, the city asked the National Park Service to clear the camp back in October. And they would normally do that before hypothermia season sets in. You can see the camp hack here behind me as people are starting to wake up. Now, the schedule got pushed back to April to allow more time for residents to connect with housing services. But the city now says the situation cannot be allowed to go on any longer. More than 70 people are now living in the McPherson Square camp. And the Park Service says it continues to grow. And it has gotten so large that social service and mental health providers say they don't feel safe going there to work. U.S. Park Police report 30 arrests in 11 months for threats, assaults, wanted individuals and narcotics. Three people have died from exposure or drug overdoses in the last six months. And there was another unknown death just outside the camp on January 21st. The community has expressed concern about trash, prostitution, open air drug use and public harassment. On the other hand, parks, groups like Stop the Sweep and and Sunrise DC have been organizing protests in opposition to the camp clearing. You see them here outside the Department of the Interior yesterday. They're concerned that not enough people in the camp have been connected to housing alternatives or have anywhere else to go. Well, the Park Service says that up until the recent, quote, severe health and safety issues, there has been intensive outreach over the last four months in order to uh, reach these people and to connect them with housing and other services. And the Park Service says in a press release that uh, it has determined that letting this go on for another few months wouldn't really make a difference in terms of adding any more people, uh, getting them to accept the services. And the ones that remain here are those that have consistently refused. Those uh, public outreach groups, those coordinating groups, they, they tell us that the folks, the folks that remain here in the park say they don't plan to leave tomorrow. So we'll see what happens.